Hello everybody, my name is Aceface. Today we're going to be doing some high sec exploration slash combat anomaly grinding in the Hecate. Uh, this is something I've done previously before, but today I wanted to do it with a slight twist. Uh, there's also some new information I found out as well about these high sec anomaly grindings that could possibly improve our ISK power. But first off, I want to say that this like, whole idea of getting the Hecate to do uh, high sec exploration is not my original idea. It's a guy called Bonkers Y2K. He's a big fan of the Hecate. He's made lots of good videos on it. So he is definitely someone to credit a lot when it comes to finding this effective uh, high sec exploration ship because it is damn effective. It's so good. Just so damn good. And I also talked to him, in fact, and he mentioned to me that the, in one of the signatures, the uh, Gris's Hideways, I think it was, they can make you get three out of tens which seem to have according to bonkers it seemed to have a very high likelihood of getting the faction jobs from there so i've never really tested this i've never even bothered with uh, uh, anything but the dens and the refuges for four and five out of tens because i just thought that okay three out of tens probably you can't get anything significant from there but apparently it's got a high likelihood of getting some good loot and that is definitely something i need because almost all the times I do these DED sites, I get just really crap loot, really crap loot. Let's put the anomalies on because we need to have them on. We're just hovering outside here of this planet here in perimeter just looks so cool. Uh, another thing that I'm doing is that I'm going to do a little bit different now from before. Is I'm going to go to high sec islands. I've been to high sec islands a few times and I've noticed that very frequently they tend to have a lot of anomalies because the way is when you do an anomaly in EVE Online then it spawns respawns somewhere else and uh, it seems like quite a few people go to these high sec islands so that means that uh, there's different tends to like, accumulate more anomalies there because once I was in these uh, one of these high sec islands I saw there was like five dens there oh my god so we're gonna try to go here we see that there is a low sec system here guarding these high sec systems over here so I think that maybe we'll be able to go here and we'll probably find some nice uh, anomalies there that are not a lot of people have done. I do have a feeling though that there maybe will be a lot of a uh, very few anomalies here because this is a very close high sec island to Jeta. So I feel, I feel like a lot of people would be in there. That's one of the problems generally speaking with going into the exploration side of things with uh, Gristers in Jeta because a lot of people do it. It's very popular. A lot of people do it. Let's just see. Maybe we can find that system here. Maybe you know, red people. I just want to be a bit careful with red people. <laughs> okay, let's see now. Uh, there's not too quite far away. And I think that this maybe is, yeah, this is a different region as well. So we can't see stuff that's in a different region. Specific region. Maybe we can do that here. Lone Trek maybe we can do. Oh yeah, we can probably do it in this Lone Trek region. Because that's where this whole stuff is going on here. Let's see now. Lone Trek. Very lone area of space. There we go. Lone trick. Okay, good. Let's see now. Where is these guys? This is called Otailieto and Dato. Let's see if there's anything there. Anything interesting there? I know you can't. It's too. They're too far away. Hmm. High sec. Maybe we can do a constellation. Pietanen. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We can do a specific. Oh, look at that. Look how many anomalies there are. What is this? That was it. Was this Jotanen? Let's see. Optimize route a little bit. Oh, look how many anomalies there are. We can just add these and then just do a little bit of optimized route. There we go. Yes, yeah, so these are all in the high sec islands. So hopefully, this will go really fast. And hopefully, we won't get popped on this low sec system right here because it could be that someone's got a smart bomber that can kill me or an ultra locker that can kill me maybe but i've got sub two second line time so it's gonna be extremely hard for anyone to ki uh, get me but just for safety precautions uh, you know i've made sure that i've not got any implants at all here just my ship because i just want to be able to do this without risking a whole lot on the line i mean this heke is pretty expensive 130 million is it's not like it's worth nothing but i still it's not a whole lot to lose the only thing is this pitham c type here uh, otherwise, I think it'll, it should be all right. It's not a whole, like the whole world if I lose it. It's just it'll be it'll just sting a little bit. You know, a little bit of the stings. It's kind of like the sting where, you know, uh, the time where you um, when you're like you get a bit of a scratch on your fingernail, and then it like gets the skin gets a bit, you know, folded. 
it's it's a, it's very annoying where you get a, kind of like folds of skin near your nails. Oh, that that's that, and then they can sometimes sting, especially if you wash your hands out shortly afterwards. That's kind of what it would be like if I had to lose this ship right here. <laughs> hmm. And the good thing is this propulsion mode is that makes me able to go like with this sub two second align time, and I think I, my warp speed is also boosted. Yeah, my warp speed is also boosted. I think. Is it? Nah, it isn't. Okay, no, it's never mind. So we are in. Who is the Grister's Grister's Den? Let's go to the Grister's Den. And Triglavians here. I hope the only no Trig Scrubians are gonna gonna wreck me here because that would be quite unfortunate because they will absolutely annihilate my Heke. I mean, here I'm made to destroy these anomalies pretty well, but when it comes to you know Triglavian fleets, oh my god, they're gonna slap me up. They're going to this this ship hardly has any tank with regards to I think the thermal resistance. Okay, it does have some thermal resistance, but it's mainly kinetic. So yeah, I'm gonna get killed pretty hard. Oh, we've already started warping. We should go to this. Go to this Garista's Den. Come on, I wanna go to this Garista's Den. Give me that den. I can potentially get a five out of ten. I'd love to get a five out of ten with the and do it with an onyx i've done a, a, a five out of ten and an onyx before but i've never showed you guys it'll be so cool to show you guys that because it was just so fun because the onyx has such a big kinetic uh, resistance it just you can sit there and face tank the whole room in a five out of ten with this with just a basic uh, medium shield booster it's no problem it's just it's so it's so it's so good okay good nose here as well so we're gonna do this extra quick as well let's go and get in range of these guristas guristas let's go here Get a little bit close to the range of the void. We'll do the sick DPS. We could potentially use, you know, the null, but I find it to be a bit faster using the void when you get up and close, especially in the in the uh, den site where every, there's going to be a lot of ships spawning in. You want to have a lot of DPS here. So yeah, getting wrecked real quick, real quick. Oof. I want to go in. Oh yeah, sharpshooter, of course, of course, sharpshooter. A lot of DPS is being missed if we are not in sharpshooter. There we go. Yeah, everything is really close right now. Keep an eye on local, in fact, because there could be people who want to gank, maybe. Always want to avoid that. What's our range? Okay, 5k optimal or fall off, so it's just outside for these Gerstis heavy gun batteries right here. If I had some implants, I could maybe boost up the optimal range a little bit. That would be even better. Then I could use Void at pretty decent ranges. And can I lock this up? Uh, only maximum four targets. That's quite unfortunate. Very few targets. I would have expected more targets in a Tech 3 Advanced Destroyer, but only four targets? That's very little. Turn off this afterburner. We don't need to have this on. Oh, this guy's going far away. They're kiting. The little scrubs are kiting. Ah, uh, now we probably need to use Wood Null, because look how far they're going. Little scrubby scrubs. Kiting scrubs. Get back here. Now I can shoot them. Look, it's going to do some good damage now. And we've got this silence over here. It's dying pretty quickly. How much DPS do we have with null? It's like 300 something DPS. So that's still some decent DPS. And it's very well applied DPS with the good tracking of the light neutron blasters. Okay, there we go. We'll switch to void now. These guys are all really close. There we go. He will die real quick. Look how fast. A look at that. Kill this guy. Make sure they don't kite like before. There we go. Look at this crew. They're just going out so quickly. Oof, he does so quickly. It'd be nice if I had like a drone or something. Just one light drone. That would be nice. But it would be pretty overpowered, I think, in the heck. It had a light drone. <laughs> oh no, this guy's kiting as well. Scrubby kiting ship. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to use a void. Okay, now these guys are here. Come on, I want to kill these guys real quick. The before what halted me a lot was that uh, that turret. But if we already kill everything before they can even get out of range, then I'll be all right. <laughs> Let's go here. Look at that cruise just annihilated right there. Good. Like, imagine if we had implants as well, the boosted uh, hybrid turret damage. Oof. It would be so amazing. It would do so much damage. I was considering to get a pod that had good hybrid implants for a Kronos, because a Kronos is 
critical ship, but I find it to not be particularly effective in the L4 missions just due to the lack of range. It's just a general thing you find with blaster based ships that they don't have enough range. So you have a bit of a. get kited a lot in them, just like I am doing right now. Okay, wreck the sky. Get close to them. Closer, please. There we go. Ooh. He's just getting out of range. Doing a little bit of ECM as well. Oh! Look at that! We got a hallucinogen waypoint straight away. You know, the thing is, with these luck in escalations here, it's just crazy. I don't know what is it, this luck like. Sometimes I go there forever. Don't get a single stupid escalation. Now I finally get one and it is in Losek. We'll go anyway. We'll go anyway and do it anyway. But I'm just going to have to be a little careful, you know. Just going to have to be a little careful. You could potentially I could do it in a rook actually because a rook is very good because the rook won't be able to be hit so it's seen on d scans so maybe i could even do it in a rook to be honest i could get some very good kinetic resistance right here so, hmm, i'll see i'll see the thing is i just like the onyx it's a pretty cool ship it's just hard to beat that 90 percent kinetic resistance you know <laughs> but it is a i think this is a pretty dangerous low sex system and we'll see here. We'll maybe we'll go with maybe a rook. I'll see. But in the meantime, let's continue to go and hunt some of these anomalies. Let's go to that low sec island I was going to before. Or high sec island I was going to before. Ilonada, let's go. Propulsion mode. That's just so cool, you know. Just get this straight away. See that I've got a <laughs> a very Five out of ten, just like that. The first sight, like the, I find the five out of tens the hardest ones to come by because I don't know. I feel like the the rate they drop is a lot less than the four out of tens. But here I am. I just get one straight away of the first sight. Absolutely crazy. Let's reload these. Hope I don't get popped in the next system or the next low six system. I mean. I looked on Z-Kill and there's not a whole lot of activity going on right there, so hopefully it'll be good. Ooh, we got some more Grister's Dens. Let's go. Ooh, we got an Entropic Disintegrator here. Uh, I don't think I don't want it to snipe me. I mean, it's 9,000 kilometers away, so I don't think it's going to have that intergalactic range or interplanetary range, but maybe it does. You know, you never can underestimate the Trig Scrubians. You know, the Trig Scrubians, they're pretty deadly. They're pretty deadly. Imagine if I get another 5 out of 10 here. Oh my God, it's going to be absolutely crazy. Let's use Null. Let's go for Null. Sharpshooter, and we'll just wreck these guys. This is the, I think this is the frigate variant of the Grister's Den where you got a bunch of frigates. Let's see, what is our range? 11 fall off. Despoiler. We've got a despoiler. A despoiler. Ooh, one shot, one shot. Cool, cool stuff, cool stuff. I'm wrecking these guys so hard. Oh, need to get a bit closer. We're going to be going out of range soon. All oh, gonna soon be in range if we keep going to the direction. Okay, there we go. got that one. This guy is dead. Just need to lock up things. It's really annoying how you can lock up so few things with the AK. I would have expected a bit more. Probably should have put an auto targeting system on this because I'm hardly ever using the core probe launcher. The core probe launcher is something that you can use to scan these things, but I can't really be bothered to scan them. I mean, I probably should. I feel like it'll just distract me so much from killing these guys very quickly. Let's go for a bit of void. These guys, it's going to take a bit of time to get through. I have more HP in these turrets. There we go. Oh, he, wait, that night missile actually went down fast. There's one new one respawn. They just respawn. Strange how they respawn these batteries, these light missile batteries. There we go. I think, I, okay. We got these guys here. Let's get closer. Go, 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 heck eight. Go crazy. Go crazy. The whole, the whole ball of ships is over here. I'm gonna get annihilated. So annoying. I can't lock up things. Yeah, we want to use null here. Look, they're all over the place here. I have to move so much. We'll at least be able to hit something, you know, when they're at this nine kilometer range. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Oh, okay, this wave this is finished now. I just destroyed these turrets here, but it doesn't seem like it really made any difference. It's a next den with a lot of dens we're finding here. 
A lot ends. Nonni. Uh, wait, nonni. Almost like nani. <laughs> you know that meme. Okay, here we go. Another one of these frigate a variants of the Garista's Den. Mass murder frigates right here. <laughs> We'd love to have an MWD just to get closer, but I feel like I'm going to do a lot of slingshotting with the MWD. Oh, no. ACM as well. Come on. One shot. Really nice with the one shots. Loving it. Hey, what is this? We're taking a lot of damage. Wouldn't expect this much damage. Hey, come on. What's going on? Get a bit close to these guys. We need to maybe move a little bit just to keep up the transversal, you know. Unfortunately, these guys are so far away. I need to, like, lock up stuff more than I have to kill them almost just because of how much how fast these things die take out the light battery and there should be another one spawning here i think it just happened the same thing as before yeah look another one spawns here i don't understand why how a missile battery sp spawns like that maybe it did, like it's supposed to come up here from the silo or something i don't know i don't know how these gorilla guys work kill them real fast and i also need to lock them up real fast too I'm sure if you blinged up enough, you could probably get it to put like a sensor boost or something that would aid a bit in the center, the targeting area of things. Okay, another den done, nothing here. What, what, what would you get in the next den? Three dens in this system. Something I don't see every day. It's a ton of stations though. Look how many stations there are in this system. It's exactly the same kind of den. Mm -hmm. Let's go towards here. I think this is where you can almost remember where everything spawns here because it's just exactly the same these guys i don't want to lock up that asteroid please let's get a bit closer lock up this turret as well because we're gonna have to destroy it anyway uh this guy this guy take him out there's some of these just small flies we have to eliminate it's like we're swatting flies right here i'd love to just get another one of those hallucinogen supply waypoints like oof. you can get some really good loot from those five out of tens get the pit them B-type multi-spectrum shield hardness, which are worth like 500 million or something like that. And then you can also get this shield boosters as well, which are also worth, like, I think, a few hundred million, like three, four hundred million or something like that. Pythium B-type medium shield booster or something like that. They are very expensive, those shield boosters that you can get, because I have got one once. And you can also get, you get a lot of ISK as well from the Overseer personal effects as well. There's a personal effects that you can get the like this the thing that always drops there's a lot more than a stupid four out of ten that i get all the time like only like one million i think you get in the five out of ten you get like 30 million or something like that it's, it's a significant amount of risk but it's pretty nice to uh, come by those as well okay more fry gates to eliminate there we go take this guy out yes 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 a lot of explosions going on there we go, and oh, there's another wave here. I hope we get a 5 out of 10. Please give me another 5 out of 10. That would be nice to get like, two 5 out of 10s. Just right after each other like that. Ooh. I wonder if we'll get anything in the Isaac Island we're going to right now. Ah, nothing here. Okay, we'll go into the next system. Now it's time to go to the Isaac Island. We've got a refuge here, but I want to go to the Isaac Island and see what we can have here. We've got Deimos. Mm. Deimos. See if we have any interesting spawns in the high sec island because there were a lot of anomalies. You saw how many anomalies there were, and usually when I see a lot of anomalies like that, I think that okay, it's a training system because in the training systems, like the rookie systems where you spawn in, they have like, lots of anomalies. They're just you know, junk anomalies. But here, we this is no training system, so potentially there could be a good uh, uh, or a good chance that we would get another five out of ten. Grister's yard and a need hugger. Ooh, a need hugger just chilling there, you know. <laughs> okay, Grister's yard. That is a little bit of a higher level anomaly. I think it's the like a step above the dens. So they can get a little bit more difficult here in low sec, but we're just gonna make our way towards the high sec island. And there's a jackdaw here. Oh no. Oh no, a jackdaw, that must mean that he's also there to do the same thing we're doing. This is exactly what I thought that we would go here and it's just going to be this, uh, other people doing the exact same thing we're doing. Active. Unfortunate, unfortunate, but they've got two dens here, so that's really good. Is that a hidden hideaway we can do? Yeah, we can do the hidden hideaway too. So 
can do those. We can just go through all these guys. Apparently, there should be very good. Make our way towards Elanoda, and I think it's enough because we've done a lot of anomalies right now. The dens can tie you out a lot because there's so much ammunition you have to spend here. Where is the. Okay, here we go. Here's some more NPCs over here. Moving range. And it looks a little bit different variant of a den here because it's not got all those like bunkers all over the place. It looks a bit nicer where you don't have to collide with everything all the time. And we've got a little sharpshooter right there, please. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. We've got the cruisers. You know, maybe one of them we can have as void and the other we can have as null. Just to have you know, a little bit of varied stuff just in case one of them tries to kite away. So we don't miss out too much, but we'll still have the nice DPS of the, the void. There we go, one tap there. Go for these guys. That real quick, that real quick, these guys. Uh, Kestrel kiting away like the little scrub he is. No, you're not gonna get away, man. You're gonna get popped. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Can you approach this, uh, this this scribe? He's pulling a little bit of range over here. Wreck him. Heck, it just looks so gorgeous. Like, when these things protrude a little bit, it looks quite like very advanced. It looks like kind of advanced shit, but it's not particularly advanced that it can only lock up four targets at the same time. That's some really, really bad stuff. I would think that, you know, Tech 3 is supposed to be very advanced. Tech 2 frigates can lock up, I think, more than four stuff. So why can I only lock up four things? And I should be able to lock up more stuff since I'm in sharpshooter mode, I would think. I don't know if it's something I'm missing. Some kind of skill that I need to train out something that you get more locked targets but tactical destroyer skill I've not got a whole really good tactical destroyer skill. I thought that was a gear for a second because it just looks exactly the same uh, It's just an NPC. I thought it was a another guy Okay, we're taking a little bit of damage here, but we just move straight up because we've got really insane shield boosting with the medium shield booster Pop, poppity pop pop Poppity pop pop we can't do that. Okay, we're going to switch stuff out. We're going to put Null on this guy and put Void on this guy. There we go. He is dead very quickly. Good, good, good. Okay, so we finished this den right here. Don't think there's anything more. You can always check if it's going to... You finish the anomaly by seeing if that thing disappears. Yeah, and you can also hear the ambience goes away too. Yeah, so we finished this. Yep, you see that. Okay, let's go to the next den. See if we see anything interesting there. No Dread Garissas, you know, it'd be very sad if I saw a Dread Garissas and while I warp away, I <laughs> reload everything. Get prepared for the next one. Maybe this is where the Jackdaw's gone. He's gone here. Or well, maybe that Jackdaw wasn't even here to do PvE. Maybe he could just happen to be going through to do something else. Yeah, he's not even here. Maybe it wasn't a Jackdaw then who was going to do PvE. Maybe he was going to do PvP or something. That's cool. That's very cool because I was unfortunate, you know, I was still like, oh, we're going to go to the high sec island and then directly we see another explorer. And the Jackdaw is a very potent explorer. It has got those auto-targeting missiles, which can really make it a very simple experience to be able to do this. I've also seen people doing, you know, things, different things like auto-targeting Cerberus, auto-targeting Orthrus. Maybe I can give those a try next time because they seem to be also viable options. The thing is, I like the I like the DPS of the Hecate, the applied DPS as well of the Hecate, and also its ability to be sub two second align time. I think it makes it really fast, you know, to move to different places as well. Yeah, we can shoot this guy. Good, good, good. More NPCs here. Kill this guy. He's trying to kite away. You can just see him trying to run away because he's afraid of our Hecate. But it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> it's alright, man. You're gonna, you're gonna get caught anyway. Okay, we've got some two cruisers here. Just put everything so that we can just eliminate the cruisers fast so that we don't, they don't manage to kite away. This guy seems to be wanting to kite away though, so we're not gonna let him do that. Get the void on this guy. There we go. Poppage. Pop goes the weasel. Oh, that nursery rhyme. It's, that's what's happening right here. <laughs> One tap these frigates with the null. Go for these destroyers. There we go. Destroyer down right there. In just a half a second. Good, good, good. Go for this guy. I keep pressing so fast that I just deactivate the the blast 
just too many NPCs. We don't need to have this heavy missile battery. We can go for the small stuff we did now, just so that it doesn't fly away and just have the void completely smash all the cruisers. Like one of these is like a destroyer in itself with 430 DPS. Oof. Really crazy DPS right now. He's trying to kite away. He's trying to kite away the little scrub. It's not a whole lot of DPS in C-177. Going to be a little bit slower here. But it's alright. He's going to die in due time too. He's going pretty fast as well. No, not that fast. 177 meters. It feels pretty fast compared to your average NPC. Okay, I think that was the site done. Yeah, and nothing going on here. Let's go to the refuges, see if we find anything here. I, I almost don't want to do refuges just because I'm a bit salty of how my refuges have always been just so bad before. Do you basically get nothing or just one little EM shield hard or something like that as well. It's like maybe two million. Like, whoa, you spent four hours grinding and normally so you get a two million shield implant or <laughs> shield module. NPCs ready to be slaughtered. Let's get close to these guys. The afterburner. Pop. Golden Null here too. Have this pre-ignited to just shoot straight away. Pop. Pop, 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 pop. We're popping balloons here. Or well, in this case, Garista's ships. Let's pop this guy. Pop this guy. Yeah, fast. Really fast. Really, really, really damn fast. This Hecate is just so amazing. Pithior Gorilla. I just remember that time where I went in the Drake just a, not a good experience where I had to, I did this for hours on end not a single escalation it's so many hours I spent trying to get that escalation but nothing I just got nothing someone is maybe exploring though because you saw that there's a cosmic signature just disappeared or it could be that it was a wormhole that just happened to collapse as well that's also a possibility I think it's hideways there's a lot of hideways let's reload all of these Oh, we got a Gila. Gila. He just finished this refuge over here. Let's go to this hidden hideway. Okay, I don't know if I'm mistaken here, but it doesn't say that this can be escalating to anything. And this Gurus' hideway says that it can escalate to something. So I think maybe there's not really much point that I, I do this. And you know what? I'll skip them because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of interesting stuff here. We're going to instead go to the next system, see if there are any cool dens there. Combat anomalies, Jotenen, Likuya. Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of anomalies there. Hopefully something good. Go to this I can't I can't I think that'll be a good system to go to. Grist's den, let's go, let's go, Grist's den. So many dens I'm encountering. I remember that time when I went to the Drake. Uh doing a high sex spree of anomalies i found hardly any dens it was just refuges really i was doing it's pretty interesting here to just see that i can i've come across so many dens i'll be the juiciest one to also find when it comes to the dd site as well oh we need to boost a little bit of shields sharpshooter please there we go lock up everything else pop this guy pop this guy Maybe even like lock up that guy, that turret later. I think this is maybe a trigger for the next wave, and I don't want to do that because you see, my shields are also already going down a tiny bit. If I trigger another wave to spawn, maybe I could, you know, get in a dangerous position. You know, don't want to. You know, we're popping these NPCs, but we don't want to get popped ourselves. <laughs> Reignite both my weapons to just knock out that light missile battery. Was there like a heavy missile battery? I think that's how one had way speed because I remember one of the first anomalies we did today. It had a lot. It took a long, a lot longer to take out the heavy miss, the bad missile batteries. I think it maybe it was like a heavy missile battery, or a hit like a, a. This is a light one that is easily killed. They got the heavy one is pretty hard to kill. But heavy armor, or heavy shields. Okay, nothing here. Next den. See if we get anything here. I can remove that waypoint. Let's go to Icanto. That can be the last system because we've done so many anomalies now. Blap de blap 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 blap. No, he's doing doing the same site over and over and over again. It can drive one a little bit insane, you know. But there's always that you know that loot being there as a possible big reward at the end of this.
Or there's a possibility of just getting absolutely nothing and everything being for nothing. <laughs> Two void here. I'm going to have to go a little bit, a little bit more crazy, you know, with the 800 plus DPS. Let's hope I don't get kited, you know. Look at those cruisers just fell, fell like flies. Ah, uh, we're getting a little bit kited here as I approach this guy. He's getting away. Get him. Let's get this guy. They're getting away. Look at them running away like little babies. These guys, these gersters, they know what's coming. Heck, hey, it's coming. Correct some gersters. Eat some gersters for lunch. <laughs> the cruise is going on so fast. Just do a little bit of a tap on that, on that anarchist over there. No, he's not in range. Let's get a little bit close to that guy. There we go. There we go. You're not running away. You're not running away. Ah, another one without anything here. Got a whopping one million tick though. A one million tick. <laughs> An identified wormhole. One of these wormholes that drifters can come from. It's pretty deadly. If you go there, you can sometimes encounter drift battleships. Those guys, you don't want to mess with them. They can just one shot even a paladin. Two Garista's dens again. So many dens. Look at this pilfered Garista's outpost. Sometimes you can find these kind of interesting beacons here in the overview. It's a little bit to the random, a bit of random things you can walk to. There's NPCs that spawn. Once I did it, and I mentioned this before, but once I got these random like Garista's base or something, and then uh, I got like 70 million drop because there was a faction spawn that spawned. Let's go for no, because these guys are just kiting. Going to be kiting. Go take this guy out. Now we're able to lock up more items. Why is this? I don't understand. We're able to lock up six things now. Ah, oh, this doesn't make any sense. Why was I not able to lock up things before? Maybe it was because I was in sharp. Maybe in sharpshooter mode you can lock up more things. Mm, I don't see anything there that makes you lock up more things if you're in sharpshooter mode. Strange. Luckily they're on the same right direction, so I can go towards both of them by moving this way. No, we didn't get one here. I see the next den. So many dens. We're very lucky here. All these dens. Just hunting these dens. It's so good. Probably has to do a bit with the High Sick Island as well, you know. There are all these dens that people are harvesting in the space that is not in the High Sick Island. They're respawning here. It seems here like there's in the system of Aikanto, there's only one den, so not a whole lot of dens. But we've probably killed plenty of dens today so doesn't really matter I mean I've never killed this many dens in this amount of time before it usually takes me a whole exploration session to find one or two dens I hardly ever come by they just get harvested straight away in normal space okay this one didn't give anything as well and we're getting a bit of a graphical glitch I don't know what's going on here <laughs> okay let's see if this last den in the next system gives us anything otherwise probably gonna do see if i can find a way to do that five out of ten that we got in the beginning of this oh wait one second we got another den spawning right here let's do that instead <laughs> dens 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 all over the place just dens nothing but dens only dens and nothing but dens den hunting is what we're doing basically here usually the only thing i can like you know the only thing i've i've luck of finding are those damn refuges but now we get the dens, the high sec island. Okay, nothing from this one either. Pretty bad luck right there. Pretty bad luck. But I guess this the Grister's five out of ten seems to be pretty hard to come by in my experience anyway. So even if I'm doing a lot of dens, it doesn't seem like the probability is not particularly high that you get them anyway. So I shouldn't be too surprised. That's a lot of refuges though. I can't be bothered to do all those refuges. They're just you know, the crappy 4 out of 10s. It wouldn't go for the 5 out of 10s here. Let's go and do the final den of the day. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense to use these null because you get the extra range and often these frigates especially. You one drop them. The only thing I can see is better to use the void is really the cruisers. Let's remember from last time. The void seemed to be pretty effective. There you go. There you go. Let's sit here with no, we don't have to move anywhere at all. Okay, there we go. The last 
den of the day completed. Unfortunately, only the first one gave me an escalation and the rest of them, absolutely nothing. Not even a faction spawn. But that's just the way it is when it comes to, you know, doing the high sick exploration or anomaly grinding. It's all the RNG. It's all the RNG and it can come when you least expect it. Now, maybe next time we'll do that 5 out of 10. I'll see if I can come up with a fit in time <laughs> and get the time to do it as well because they do take quite a bit of time to time to run we'll see all right hope you guys enjoyed this video right here if you did please give a like and subscribe i'll catch you guys later